Now today, let's talk about the future of Boeing. Now right in front of us, we have the pretty much brand new 777X, the new 777 refresh from Boeing. If you have been alive for the last few days, you must already know that a real 777X had its first flight already. So yeah, let's talk about this plane a bit, maybe compare it to the A350 because there are some similarities that are pretty much very similar. Now right in front of us, we have the 777X in the Air France livery. Obviously, there is no real 777X Air France yet because this plane is going to be introduced next year. Now, now we are in Microsoft Flight Simulator and there are a few inaccuracies in the flight model. Now, first of all, we have a wrong engine on this plane. As you can see right here, we have Chevron nozzles, which basically lower the sound, the volume of the engines, but we do not have Chevron nozzles in the real 777X. I just wanted to clarify that. So this part is a bit inaccurate, but that does not even matter at all. Also, I've just noticed that we have a Boeing 777-300ER text on the livery, but we do have maybe one of the most significant and most standing out features of the 777X, and that is the folding wingtips. No, these are not huge winglets or something. These are actually foldable wingtips. Now, on the ground, they are folded in and while flying slash before takeoff they are folded out so that they're flat you know now that is a very interesting design and a very interesting choice to me from boeing the thing is the wingspan of this plane is so large that there would be difficulties on airports tarmacs with this plane. So this neat little folding feature allows this plane to operate safely on ground. Now, you know what? Let's just not unfold the wingtips. Let's just leave them like that and see what happens. <laughs> if we can normally take off, I mean, I mean, right now they could act as some very, very large winglets, I guess. So let's just go for a full power takeoff. Let's get into the cockpit. The thing is, the cockpit is also inaccurate. Now, we have reworked engines on the 777X as well. We have GE9X engines. Oh, no. Don't sink. Yeah, this is not very surprising. <laughs> this is not working. <laughs> yeah, we really Don't cannot sink. fly with the wings folded. Whatever. Now, the plane that we are in right now is the 777X9. There's also going to be a 777X8 in the future, which will be a little bit smaller. But right now, the 777X9er is only a thing yet. You know what? Let's try this again, but with unfolded wingtips. Maybe that will work better. All right, so here we are, airborne. Let's try not to die again. That might be a good idea. By the way, this cockpit is also inaccurate. This is actually an A300 cockpit, not even a 777 cockpit. The new cockpit will be a very modern glass cockpit with e with even touchscreen control. Actually, I bought a New York scenery just, just for this video, but it's not really showing up, is it? <laughs> also, obviously, there are going to be some cabin redesigns. There have been some leaks, but obviously that depends on the airline. Talking about airlines, let's check out which airlines have ordered this plane. There have been a reasonable amount of orders of this plane 309 we have a lot of mainstream airlines ordering this plane like Lufthansa, Etihad, Cathay, Emirates, Qatar, Al Nippon, Singapore, British, all those airlines 309 orders does not sound too bad well that's $30 down the drain I don't know why this is not working properly Oh my goodness, that was extremely close, but this is definitely a better plane than the 777. You know, the regular 777 the plane is so much more efficient with new engines and a new wing. But is it better than the A350? Ah, that's a hard question. Personally, I think the A350 is just as good as the 777. So I guess the sales will tell us our answer. Now, as we are in New York, let's land in the Hudson, because that's the thing here, I guess. By the way, this plane does not have MCAS, because a lot of people are actually wondering about that. And, and no, this plane does not have MCAS at all. All right, time to land in the Hudson. I mean, we have landed, right? But yeah, you can definitely say that, you know, this plane flies, which is great for a plane. And it also landed safely yesterday, which is always good. By the way, the cost of a 777 is around $400 million, quite a bit for an airplane as well. And we're dead again.
So yeah, I'm very excited for the future for this plane to be introduced to the commercial air travel world. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.